And hello again, everyone, and welcome back to The Longest Journey. Now, if you remember where we last left off, April had been sent back to Mercuria by the Lady Alvane because she needed to learn courage from the people who were standing, staying behind to face the tyrant invasion. And she got the last piece of the disc from Adnoxus, the, um, ambassador, the than our ambassador. She went back to the enclave and reforged the disc with a little help from Crow. Then she came back to Stark and ran into in Newport and got her fake ID from Burns Flipper and then proceeded up to the nice part of town, as it were. Oh yes, along the way she witnessed the death of the White Dragon and was told that by the White Dragon that she is the White Dragon's daughter. Yes, April is the daughter of a dragon. She is one of the Dryad kin herself, which is why she has all... everyone thinks she's so powerful. But, let's face it, that raises as many questions as it answers. Anyway, we're going to continue because April has to head up to the nicer part of town, get into the MTI building, and face down Jacob McGallan, the head of the Church of the Voltec. So let's continue with The Longest Journey. And here we are. Um, if you remember, there was a pizza box in this trash bin here that we picked up. Now we have some questions about the pizzas here. Even though we just picked up a pizza box from it. It's a bingo instant pizza machine. I never liked those things. They taste like artificially flavored cardboard boiled in grease. I think we've all had that pizza at one time or another, April. But, should we get a pizza? I am sorry, but this bingo instant pizza maker has been shut down by order of the Newport Department of Biological Warfare. About time, too. If you or anyone in your immediate family has enjoyed a delicious bingo instant pizza recently, please report to an area hospital as soon as possible. Have a nice day. Okay, the city of Newport has its own department of biological warfare. I don't want to know. Let's get on the shuttle and head up to the other part of town. And yep, that's the nice part of town, all right. And this is another place where the game makes you wait for a long time while you just hear sounds in the background. You hear the shuttle landing. Yeah, we can't do anything until April, all that stuff April walks out. And now we're accessible. Now, we can't just go anywhere, we have to find the MTI building, so let's ask this guy. Officer? Yes, ma'am? Can you direct me to the MTI building? Certainly. See that huge, massive, towering building over there? That's it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay. Whatever. It's the X-Men. Wow, it's a faux Roman palace. How very Las Vegas. <clears throat> yeah. This guy, by the way, is Jerry. Gerald Rosenberg. Hi there, Jerry. Gerald, do you have an appointment? I really need to see your boss, Jacob McAllen. There is no one here by that name, miss. This is a private building. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Now. What floor is Jacob McAllen on? We do not have a Jacob McAllen working here, miss. Do you have any McAllens at all? I'm not picky. 
I am not about to divulge any private information to a person such as yourself. Good for you, Jerry. Gerald! It would be so nice if you left now, miss. Thank you very much, Jerry. <sighs> Gerald! And if you do not leave, miss, I will be forced to call the police. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that whole um, conversation tree is supposed to be for. Um, what you really have to do is, even though we're standing right here in front of him and haven't left since we got here, we have to pick up this pizza box, remember that we got the trash, and give him that. Got a pizza delivery for Mr. McAllen. Really? There's been no... Wait a second. Weren't you in here before? Me? Nah. Uh, been been delivering pies to the, uh, to Venice. I, I ain't been up here before. Nice hood, clean pavements, good air. I could have sworn. Oh, very well. Give me the pizza and I will see to it that it's delivered to Mr. McAllen as soon as possible. No can do, guy. This has got to be delivered now before it gets cold. You know how Mr. McAllen gets when his mozzarella is cold. Oh, I can't very well leave my post, so... All right, all right. Step into the elevator and I will send you to Mr. McAllen's office. But I want you back down here pronto, do you understand? Yeah, security in this building leaves something to be desired. What do you think? Huh? That was easy. What is that? It looks... God, it looks human! I guess the Vanguard are growing these creatures for a purpose. Maybe soldiers? That's one war I'll do my best to prevent. I don't know what they're growing in these tanks, but whatever it is, it's disgusting. And alive! Well, we may as well look around the office while we're here. That's an amazing view. I can see clear across the city. There are documents scattered all over the desk. Now, here's the weird part. Uh, looking at the desk doesn't help us with anything. We have to actually try to pick up something. Papers. There's nothing here that... That's my... That's my name! And my address! Obviously, there's... God, they've been tracking me, watching me! Uh-oh! <gasps> you could run, April. Did that occur to you? You were the last person I'd expect to find here, Shifter. I've spent an obscene amount of money and resources tracking you down. Since before we knew your name. Before you even came to Newport. And then, you simply walk into my lap. Like a mouse into a great big trap. Looking for the cheese, I'd imagine. The Guardian. Well, he's not here, I'm sorry to say. He's being held elsewhere, awaiting your directions. You do have them, yes. The directions to the Guardian's realm. Actually, we don't. That's the whole thing. Everybody keeps acting as if she does, but we don't. Sorry, but I never managed to find the entrance to the Guardian's realm. Hmm. Pity, really. And I thought you'd done so well on your journey across Arcadia. At least you have the disc and the two jewels I'm missing in your possession. So, good of you to bring them here. I thought I might have to go... pick them up myself. I have friends. Oh, you do? You do? 
the very best friends, too. Don't make me laugh, girl. Did you really expect your good buddy Cortez to tell you the truth? Or to come to your rescue like a knight in shining armor? He's been using you. Tobias, Cortez, the bloody kin, all your friends. They've been using you for their own selfish reasons. They're no different from me, Shifter. No different at all. They've helped me. You haven't. Haven't I? I could have caught you earlier, Shifter. I had my eyes and ears in Arcadia, and you have made quite a spectacle of yourself from time to time. But I let you go about your business. And now you return to me with precious gifts. So don't tell me I haven't helped you. Just as you're helping me now. Now, you have been kept from the truth just as much as everyone, Shifter. You are just a piece in a grand game of chess. You're not even a big piece. You're a pawn. Now, give me the disc and the jewels, the dragon eyes. And then we can wrap this game up. I'm quite certain you know more than you let on about the Guardian's realm as well. I'll have that information too, very soon. Well, we don't know the Guardian's realm. I'm not giving you anything. I have an army of devoted soldiers in this building, Shifter. I run this city. What are you going to do? Round up a mob of your friends? Forget about shifting as well. There are magical barriers against that in this building. All right, I give up. Here's the disc and the jewels. Yeah, that was probably a bit too easy, wasn't it? You see? I wasn't lying to you, unlike some of your accomplices. You don't have a choice. You must give me what you have. Fine. Who the hell cares anyway? I'm exhausted and I'm... I give up. Cortez has abandoned me. I've hurt my two best friends in the world and... Maybe you're right. Maybe you're no different from the Sentinel. Maybe they're as bad as you and maybe you deserve each other. It doesn't matter, you've won. What are you gonna do now? Let me guess. This is where the heroine coaxes a confession from the villain before the final act of the play commences. Very well. I'm all for a satisfying denouement. What now? I have the Guardian, I have the disc, and the jewels, the key to the tower. And soon, if you play along like a nice little girl, I'll know where the gateway is. So you don't need me anymore? Apparently not. I thought I might, so I decided not to kill you. But now that I have the Guardian himself, your role in this game is... up. After you tell me what I need to know, of course. Then what will happen to me? Nothing. I'll let you go. You can do me no harm, and I'm not a cruel man. Not unusually so, at any rate. <sighs> okay. We can ask some questions here, but, you know, there's not a whole lot we need to really find out. What will you do once you open the gateway to the Guardian's realm? Gordon Alloway will take the Guardian's place in the tower, and he will rule according to my plan. The worlds will be reunited, and the Earth will be one realm, as it was, and as it should be. So, this is all part of your master plan to rule the Earth? When you put it like that, I guess... yes. 
But I'll be a fair and just ruler, my dear. What's the point? You're like, what, 60? In another 60 years, you'll be dead, and then what? Leave the kingdom to your firstborn? <laughs> I'll be around a lot longer than 60 years. A lot longer. You really don't know me, do you? You really don't know anything about me. Apparently not. How did you get the other two jewels? I've had one of them for ages. The other came into my possession only a week ago, as luck would have it. And now I have the last two, and the disc. Why didn't you go look for the jewels and the pieces of the disc yourself? <sighs> I would have. But my power over Arcadia has been disturbingly limited until now. The Tyran have proved a valuable addition to my disciples, and with their help, I've dispensed with most of my opposition in Arcadia. But still, locating the stones would have required the cooperation of the Sentinel. Now, I may be a charismatic man, but I doubt they would have told me anything. And those wretched, magical races, you think they would have cooperated? No. They were waiting for their savior, their prophecy come true. And you seem to fit the bill. Why not take advantage of that? As for the jewels, the white and the blue of the dry kin were not likely to submit to me. And that was a battle even I'd be well advised to avoid. What happened to Cortez? Cortez. I had Gordon take care of him. He was just interfering too much for his own sake. There are rules, and he broke them. He brought you into... He broke the rules. But time is ticking, Shifter, and the wheel of the balance is turning. Please, enter the elevator to your right. I want to show you something. Yeah, normally I wouldn't run through these long dialogues, but yeah, I felt the villain describing his plan should be put in there. Obviously, he's never heard of the um, evil overlord handbook, but whatever. What do you think? What is it? This is the end result of the centuries of work and research the Vanguard have done. A breeding ground for shifters such as yourself. Warrior shifters. So tell me, what do you think? Well, yeah, does it really matter? Does it matter what I think? No. I'm just trying to be polite. Now, give me the disc and the jewels. And don't try anything this time. I might have to hurt you myself. And in a way, he does us a favor by taking the disc and the jewels, because he does something we couldn't do. Uh, we can't combine the jewels and the disc ourselves, but he can. Or at least this machine can. So you just sort of toss them in there. That's what it looked, the animation looked like. I will ask this one last time, because I am a patient man. Where is the gateway to the Guardian's realm? And I will point out that April doesn't know. Yes, it's on the piece of the map that she gave to Burns Flipper, but she hasn't talked to him since giving it to him. She doesn't know. And I'll say this one final time because I'm a patient woman. Go screw yourself. That's all I needed to know. 
I'll leave you alone here for a while. When I come back, I'm sure you'll be a lot more cooperative. Yeah, that sounded a little ominous, but um, I keep repeating, she really doesn't know. She can't tell you. I suppose she could mention for the... Okay, we have to do things kind of fast here, so... Elevator locked. Hover pad exit closed. Hover pad exit. So we do that, and it opens this thing, and we can run. Now, I'm not totally sure if this thing can hurt us or not. It's a monster! Yeah, thank you, April. I'm not really sure if that thing can hurt us or not, if I wait long enough. It doesn't hurt you right away. So we're out here on this hover pad. But it comes out after you. It's still coming after me. Yes, we noticed. Now, you can run around all you like. There's no way off. You have to do something kind of stupid. You have to run out onto this bridge oh, nowhere. This wasn't such a good idea. But the game requires that we do it, so... Hey, uh, you want to try discussing things over a hot cup of mocha instead of all this killing April business? I guess not. Well, hell! We'll go on and fall. Fall. One more. There you go. I guess he fell. Cortez! You've been keeping some rough company, senorita. Better be more careful in the future, no? Where have you been? What? Were you worried? Yes! No, I mean, I was scared you were, you know, dead. So you care about me? Ave Maria Purissima. What am I going to do now without you telling me to get lost? Don't joke about this, Cortez. I've been in a lot of situations these past few days where I could have needed your help, but you weren't there. Perdóname. Forgive me, senorita. I've been indisposed. When I finally managed to escape my prison last night, I began looking for you. You left an interesting trail, I must say. What do you mean? For one, the border house. Most of Venice, for that matter, was under guard. There seemed to be some question as to how you managed to escape the Vanguard agents. Magic. So I thought. You've been picking up a few pointers in Arcadia. I'm turning into quite the Girl Scout. It's amazing how resourceful you can be when you're in a bind. I see. I've noticed. How did the Vanguard capture you? With a small army. And with the help of a very dangerous man. Gordon Holloway. I met him. Not the most personable guy in the world. And he could really do with some sun. Gordon is a... a creature of pure logic. He was split in two halves when he was a child, one bound to Stark, the other to Arcadia. The victim of terrible vanguard experiments, I'm afraid. The Chaos Vortex, right? That's him. He's magical and chaotic, half untethered. What some people would call his soul. Gordon would have been guardian had the vanguard not destroyed him. I heard the story. Can he still be guardian? The vanguard believes so. But if he did become guardian, he would twist and corrupt the balance to his own benefit. What the consequences would be, I fear to even think. Have you told me everything I should know, Cortez? About? About this. About everything that's happened to me in the past, say, week. I've told you all I can tell you. Yeah, sure. You know, I overheard a conversation between you and your friend, Father Raul, and then McAllen... Jacob McAllen? He's here? He was. He released that mutant freak on me, so that I'd tell him where the gateway to the Guardian's realm is. Adios mio. We must get you away from here. He's a very dangerous... Why, if it isn't a family reunion? I could smell your hand in this, brother. Isuda is yet. The Vanguard. Was this the extent of your originality? If you had to meddle in the affairs of mortals, would it not have been prudent to show a little subtlety? He seized the dragon, 
and bound him for a thousand years. Free at last, brother? Thais, are you tireless? Kisei. I didn't picture you walking amongst men in a man's body with a man's name. McAllen. The balance must not have dealt you and yours with the best of hands. The balance will cease to be, brother. The scales will topple, and the old walls will fall. The age of dragons is imminent, whether you join us or not. Join you? You symbolize all that I despise. You hate and fear these mortals so much, you bring on chaos to destroy them. But you will only succeed in destroying yourself. Our time will come eventually, but not by your doing. Are these worlds of mortals so important to you that you forget who you are? I never forgot who I am. That crime is yours alone, brother. What's this? There is still time. You are blood of my blood. Kin to my kin. You are immortal dragon. And our destinies weigh the scales of the universe. Where do you get all those cliches, kin to my kin? Doesn't it ever bother you that you sound like a badly written play? Oh well. I will not miss your sarcasm, brother. It always felt a little... strained. Tabas! What are they doing? Really? Brian said Cortez called it. His heart. His heart has stopped. Cortez is dead. I can't believe that. It doesn't make sense because... because... <sighs> He's gone. They all die. God damn! I can't... Everybody I love dies. Everybody I... Okay, um, April, I think you're feeling a little too strong emotion for Cortez here, first of all. Secondly, Cortez was obviously a Dryad kin. Yes, Cortez is the Red Dragon. It also appears that Jacob McAllen was a Dryad kin. He was the Green Dragon. And there are just so many questions that can be raised here. Like, if the Dryad kin were the ones who helped set up the balance in the first place, why is Jacob McAllen trying to destroy it now? Um, they talked about when is our time? Our time is coming. What are they? What are they talking Unlock about? containment chamber. I think yes. Okay, let's open that. Um, and go get the merged disc. See, we have the assembled disc now. Um, so the question comes though, even if McAllen and Cortez were dry dragons, were dry kin, can't the dragons fly? They flew here through the stars. How could falling off the building hurt them or kill them? Did McAllen kill Cortez, but McAllen's still around? Why didn't he come back for April? It's... I guess we'll find that in a sequel somewhere, but... Anyway, that's what seems to be going on now. And do they realize that April is the daughter of a dragon herself? Do they realize that she is pretty much dry at kin on her own? And what, pray tell, took you so long? Excuse me, 
I'm talking to you. Stop. Screw you, Jerry. <gasps> oh, poor Jerry. What happened to the cop that was standing out here? Maybe he went to investigate the two dragons falling off the building. All right. We need to do one thing. We need to go talk to Burns Flipper and see if he has the um, information we need about this guy's looking to see the dragons that fell off the building, apparently. Um, we need to talk to Burns Flipper and see if he has deciphered the star map yet so we can get to the... Um, figure out where the Guardian's Realm is. Because that's the one piece we're missing now. We have the assembled disc with all the jewels on it. And we just need to know where to take it now. And back at the docks once again. But yeah, to me that's kind of a question that I haven't quite figured out yet, was what drove um, Jacob McAllen, the Green Dragon, to evil, as it were? Because if the dragons were the ones who created the balance and split the worlds and all, why is he suddenly deciding he needs to undo it. Why is he suddenly wanting to take over? He's a dragon. He's the Dryad Kin. Don't they have wherever they came from in the stars? Um, the blue Dryad Kin was talking about the day of the ascension when they go back home. Maybe something has to happen here on Stark and Arcadia on Earth before they can do that. It's... I don't know. I feel like we're missing a big chunk of background there that or maybe they just needed an arbitrary Hello, villain. Flipper. Oh, ah. oh my God! What happened to you? <coughs> they shot me. They took the fucking map. Who? I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, but they. They promised me I'd walk again. Who did? Halloway. The. Vanguard. I, I had a deal with them. Then, uh, when when you come back, I sent word they uh, they wanted the map, information on it. They wanted you. You sold me out to the Vanguard. Uh, I'm so sorry. They threatened me with they. They said you can walk again or you can fucking die. Your choice. My choice. I understand. Just take it easy. Don't move too much. I'm gonna call the cops and then... No! <coughs> no, don't. I'm dying. I, they would... Just put me in jail. Listen to me. April, the map, it, I deciphered it. They took... They took it with them, everything. But I... I made a copy. <coughs> Over there on the screen. What am I looking at? <coughs> I, I played with the map you gave me, and though there was information missing, I... <coughs> Why don't you just take it easy for a while? Don't say anything. Gotta... They took it. See the flashing cross? That, <coughs> that's the destination on the map. Some kind of anomaly, I guess. <coughs> Nothing about it in, in any data bank, but right next to it, there's a spaceport. The Morning Star. <coughs> Transfer terminal to the colonies, luxury hotels, casinos. <coughs> if you need to, to get to the position on the map, that, that's the way to do it. Go to the Morning Star. Halloway was bringing, bringing something with him up, up there to the station. Uh, I heard them talking about it. it. Sounded important. The Guardian? It's gotta be the Guardian. These guys are bad, the worst. You gotta be careful, I'm fucking telling you. I'm the only chance we got. I know, get them. Get up there to the Morning Star. Go to the Morning Star, do what you have to do now. I will. <coughs> I'm sorry. You okay, Flipper? Flipper! Damn. Flipper. 
and that's the end of Burns Flipper. Um, April, you're not having a good track record with people who are helping you at this point. Um, I know it's not your fault. But... So now we know where we need to go. We have to get to a space station called the Morning Star. And we know where that is, back in the nice part of town. Her friends are mad at her. One of her friends has been shot. Everyone else who has tried to help her is dead. Uh, that's from Tobias, Burns Flipper, Cortez. Um, you're really on your own here, April. Um, even the White Dragon, who says she's your mother and that you're her daughter, has, um, died. Although your sister is still alive. But, I guess it's up to you now. There's no one left to help you. But don't worry, we, you've got us looking over your shoulder, so. Anyway, I'm just going to get us up to the starting point here. Because we're coming up from the end game now. We're about to the end. Um I guess they found the two dragons that fell off the building by now. Um anyway, we're gonna go to the tombs. And this woman with the outrageous looking um, outfit is actually the representative for the colonies. So we need to head off to the colonies. Because, like I said, we're coming down to the end here. Good morning, ma'am. How are you today? Fantastic. And you? I am just fine, ma'am. Thanks for asking. Well, isn't that just peachy? I guess. How may I help you today, ma'am? Peachy. Now, we can be snarky to this person, but that's not going to help us any. So let's just do what we need to do. I'd like to register as a colonist. Very good, ma'am. You won't regret this decision. I can assure you of that. I'm sure I will. In fact, I already do. Uh, yes, well, we'll do our best to find the perfect colony for your tenure after you fill out a simple multiple choice form and... Why not just call it slavery? I mean, that's what it is, isn't it? Oh, no, ma'am, certainly not. Our colonists are given the best of care and a full salary to go with their assigned tenure. Whatever, I just need to get on a ship that'll take me through to the Morning Star transfer station. We do have a ship leaving this evening with colonists bound for Bokamba 8, and that does stop at the Morning Star. But I'd suggest you go through our pamphlets. Sign me up for... what was it? Bokamba 8? That's where I want to go. Uh, all right, ma'am. If you would just hand me your Newport ID card and place your right thumb on that black square, we can get you registered. Now, is she giving her the real ID or the fake ID Burns gave her? That's a good question. There. That's it, ma'am. You're registered. Now, if you just take your baggage... No baggage. Nothing, ma'am? Well, you will receive everything you need when you get to the colonies, so no problem. Just head up to gate number one and wait in our lounge. And I have to remind you that if you choose not to board your ship this evening, you will have committed a corporate offense, and you will be subject to imprisonment. And a nice day to you, too. It's not like they're after us enough, anyway. But anyway, this is as good a spot as I need to stop because this is the end of the chapter. So, next time we will be on the Morning Star Space Station and we will continue towards the conclusion of The Longest Journey. Until then, this is Dennis, I am Panstaff the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time. <laughs>